In our previous Faceware Studio tutorial, we introduced you to animation tuning as a way to customize your animation data. And now we're going to continue in that vein by introducing you to motion effects. Using motion effects eliminates the need for complex in-engine scripting and allows you to enhance the way that a rig responds to an actor's performance. With motion effects, you're changing the way that a control behaves. It'll become clear when we show you a few examples. Adding a motion effect to a control is simple. You can click the FX button next to any control in the animation tuning panel, or in the motion effects panel, select new effect and choose your primary control from the list. Next, select the effect that you want. Studio comes with four stock effects, clamp, offset, increase by, and reduce by. Clamp sets the lowest and highest values for a given control, so it's used to restrict the range of activation. Offset is a positive or negative value that's added to or subtracted from a control, creating a consistent change throughout. Increase by and reduce by allow a secondary control to influence the activation of the primary control. For example, in this profile, we wanted to increase the amount that the cheeks moved when there was a smile. So we have two increase by effects that are using the cheeks as the primary control, which are driven by the smiles as secondary controls. Motion effects are saved in your profile, and you can have as many as you want. This is where you as the artist get to put your own touch on the final animation. And speaking of which, we've got one step left, and that's to stream the animation onto your own character in-engine. We'll cover that one next time.